Oh, hell, this was a hard one. In the annals of film history, you'll find many odd genres. Things like nun exploitation, Nazi exploitation, Travolta exploitation, and of course, Bruce exploitation. Yes, after Bruce Lee died in 1973, a bunch of producers cashed in on his death by casting lookalikes in a number of films that are far inferior to anything Lee ever put out. Even if you don't like Lee's films, you have to acknowledge that Lee had a directorial eye and knew what the hell he was doing. All these other films are garbage. And out of curiosity, I decided to see who made the first Bruce Bruceploitation movie. And I found two films, both in 1974. One is called A Dragon Story, and it's starring Bruce Lai, who is one of the most recognizable Bruce Lee imitators, and the film we're talking about tonight, which is called A Game of Death, which, oddly enough, is an Enter the Dragon clone. You heard that right, a Filipino Bruce Ploitation film called A Game of Death that rips off Enter the Dragon. They made the wrong movie! Kind of. While the visuals are ripped straight from the original film, the plot kind of does its own thing. It's about Charlie Lee and his manager who are tasked with finding kidnapped models on the villain's island while partaking in a karate tournament. This movie meanders from start to finish and does nothing to set itself apart from its predecessors. It's a lame kung fu movie with no style or interests. Save for the villain, who looks like a cult leader and dresses like this. Friend. He also stuffs karate champions and collects them in a cave. That's pretty messed up. But who cares? This movie is not worth your time. I mean... The Kung Fu is okay, but so what? If all you got going for a movie is some good Kung Fu and nothing else, then what's the point? This movie sucks. I'm the Cinema Fanatic, and as Diamanda Hagen says, I have to live with that every day.